Joining us now to discuss is Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Uh, Congresswoman, great to have you with us. Just out of the gate, what was your takeaway from that debate last night? Oh, it was a fiery one. But you know what? I'm so proud of Governor Ron DeSantis. He exemplified exactly what a leader should be. He was cool, calm, collected. He wasn't willing to back down. He talked about the issues, got to the heart of them quickly. And really, there was not a lot of fluff. So I'm very proud of his performance. I think it was a stark contrast, uh, what people saw last night. You know, we are about freedom. Governor DeSantis espoused all of his policies that were focused on freedom, where Charlie Crist, you never know what you're going to get at any given day. He's been a Republican. He's been an independent. He's been a Democrat. He just goes with the flow of whatever he thinks is popular. And Governor DeSantis has stood firm when things maybe weren't so popular, but they were the right thing to do. And I think more than ever, we need people who are willing to stand up and do that. What's your assessment of the Marco Rubio Val Demings race uh, for Senate? Because everybody assumed the Marco Rubio was going to be solid there, but there, there have been some chinks in that armor along the way. You know, I think that there's some some media out there, left leaning media that wants to make this race seem closer than it is. I personally serve with Val Demings on Homeland Security, and there have been exchanges where it's clear that she is a progressive socialist. She wants to have government control of every aspect of our lives. And Marco Rubio, he's fighting for freedom at all fronts. I think just talking to folks here in Florida, up and down the state on a variety of issues, that Marco is is going to do well. He is going to have the overwhelming support of not just Republicans, but independents and Democrats as well. You know, just a few weeks ago after Hurricane Ian hit, I found myself in the middle of a citrus grove with Representative Scott Franklin and Senator Rubio. He was boots on the ground doing the work. And I think he has proven time and time again that he is about action, not just talk, where we see that coming from Val Demings. And so I, I think it's going to be a bigger margin than people anticipate, but we can't be complacent. We've got to run hard all the way through. Yeah, and also, of course, that horrible attack on one of um, Marco Rubio's uh, canvassers, canvassers yeah. yeah, who reportedly will have to have oh. reconstructive surgery, which is just horrible, horrible that this is going on uh, just, you know, a, a week or so out of um, of the elections. But I do want to turn back quickly to uh, Ron DeSantis, to Governor DeSantis, because it was a, there was an interesting moment where throughout the debate, uh, Chris tried to push DeSantis to say whether or not he would serve a full four years of reelected versus running for president. Uh, lots of buzz there, of course. Take a listen. Ron, you talk about Joe Biden a lot. I understand. You think you're going to be running against him. I can see how you might get confused. But you're running for governor. You're running for governor. And I have a question for you. You're running for governor. Why don't you look in the eyes of the people of the state of Florida and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four-year term as governor. Yes or no? Yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four-year term if you're reelected governor of Florida? It's not a tough question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. Hmm. Uh, Kat, your response to that. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that Charlie Chris wants to talk about someone being confused. Like I said, he's been a Republican yeah. and independent. He's confused if anybody is. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, d doesn't he understand you? You lie. You say, of course, I'll complete my four years and then you run for president. <laughs> I know. You know DeSantis has done such a wonderful job as governor. Everyone wants to see him continue on as governor. And after those four years, who knows? But I can tell you, in talking with him and working with his team, they have been focused on the governorship and nothing yeah. else. All right. Congresswoman Kat Kamek, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day.